Hey guys, Christina Garibaldi here with Adriana Lima. Thank you so much for coming by. Thanks for You're having so me. You're so beautiful. You too, thank, <laughs> thank you. So she's going to be here talking all about the new Victoria's Secret fragrance. We have some fun fishbowl questions, so we're going to get right to it. And of course, we want to hear from you guys, so please send us in your questions and your comments. But you are here, and it's New York Fashion Week. Are you excited about it? Very excited about mm -hmm. it. I can't wait to see all the new trends that are coming out. Yeah. Yes. Have, have you gotten a sneak peek? Do you know what kind of trends we're going to see? Well, I'm excited to see it. I haven't seen anything, have you? No, I haven't. Okay, yeah. I'm excited. <laughs> I think that the like big fashion shows starts on Thursday, right? Right. So I'm really thrilled to see that. Yeah. How do you guys like, mentally prepare for a big show? Well, it's uh, everybody asks me this question. If I always <laughs> get like nervous about it, I do because do every show is different, and you want to do your best and. A lot of people is going to be watching, your picture is going to run in a lot of magazines. So you want to give it your best, you Definitely. know, at all times. Yeah. Uh, Krista yeah. says, oh my God, my girl crush, love you. Oh, thank you. <laughs> your girl crush. Um, I saw you are in like insane shape. I was looking at your Instagram and you do like these intense workouts. What are kind of like your fitness routines? Thank you so much. Yeah. Well, I, been boxing for over 10 years. Mm -hmm. I started when I was 19. And I do number one because it's part of my job and yeah. my job is my image. But even though if I wasn't a model, I would continue because I wanted to live a very long time yes. and I wanted to be a healthy person. Mm -hmm. And basically boxing, I do a lot of meets, bags. Mm -hmm. Sometimes I do like lift a little weight. Yeah. Um, cardio, my cardio are like jumping rope, okay. the, which I love. And uh, sometimes, like, I travel a lot, so it's mm -hmm. hard it's to hard. find, like, a place to, to, to go to work out. So I try to run, mm -hmm. you know, or I take my rope and then I jump rope, like, somewhere outside for 10 minutes. <laughs> I love it. That's yeah. okay. So you can, like, beat somebody up then. <laughs> well, if it comes to a uh, life and death, like, <laughs> situation, I think I could defend myself. You could throw a mean I right hope hook. I don't have two <laughs> anytime <laughs> soon, but totally. I can do it. Yeah. Katarina says, Katarina says, you're amazing. And Jessica says, I love you. Thank you, Katarina and Jessica. Oh, the kisses so cute. for both of you. So now your daughters travel with you every place that you go? Well, I try to bring them as much as I can. Mm -hmm. uh, my two kids are Sienna mm -hmm. and Valentina. Sienna is three, Valentina is six years old. Okay. Right now they're at school and okay. Valentina is on first grade. So it's a bit difficult, you know, because you don't want to to take them out uh, from their routine. So mm -hmm. you, you want to try to keep them as much as they can yeah. in their routine. Yeah, is it hard balancing your career and motherhood? No, well? you know what, it's not easy at all, but I have that type of personality where I'm very organized mm -hmm. and I try not to stay that long, that much away from them. And now these days we like technology and FaceTime available right. that you can be anywhere. You can take the phone and call them at any time. That's mm -hmm. such a great help. Oh, definitely. Yes. Now, do they know? Do they understand like who you are and what you do and things like that? Yes, they yeah. know. They know that mommy's a model. Mm -hmm. They understand, and they have been in some of my photo shoots right. before. They see like some of my interviews sometimes. I'm like, oh, my oh. God, what? <laughs> they know. They know do what they, I do. That's yes. so great. Yes, yes, yes. Do you think they're going to follow in your footsteps? I believe that my oldest one will because she she actually she told me and we had a chance to do a photo shoot um, like I think it was American Vogue we did two shots together with uh, Bruce Weber both of them like my little one she really wasn't into it she was like ah oh, whatever I don't take pictures I'm like okay I'm not forcing anything right but my oldest she was like, like work in the camera so into it yes she was she loved it I'm like oh my god I cannot believe this I was proud that's so funny I she's gonna proud. start giving you tips now oh well I'll take it right. anytime yes why not I love it okay so we have this fishbowl here so we have a bunch of questions there are a lot of beauty related a lot of fun rapid fire questions so take your pick okay let's see <laughs> Okay. okay, should I read it? Yeah, you can read it. What is your reality TV gu guilty pleasure? Oh my God. You know, since I being, I had my kids, mm -hmm. like my TV is based on 
Peppa Pig, <laughs> Dora the Explorer, and uh, like uh, that's all I know for right. now. Yeah, so you can't catch up on any reality. No, no Bachelor no, no, for no. you. No, no, well, like, no, you know, I, I, I'm really out of date on the reality TV stuff, mm -hmm. really. And uh, too bad, I am. I am. Right, yeah. that's okay. Yeah. yeah. <laughs> Abdul says, what's the secret for your beautiful skin? What is the secret? Okay, um, I believe it's my workout. Mm -hmm. I think that helps because of, you know, um, cardio, you activate your circulation, and you sweat. I think that's a great thing also eating healthy, yeah. drinking a lot of water, and I have my lotions that I like to use mm -hmm. too. Um, I have a great dermatologist that I go, and his name is Herver Huro, and he makes his own like lotions, his cream. Oh, wow. So I have like a facial cleanser, I have the serum, I have a daily moisturizer, and then I have a nighttime moisturizer for the face oh, it's so and important. that's all I use that's great yeah, um, yeah. Sarah's asking me any more children do you see any more children in your future yes yeah I <laughs> definitely want more kids yeah. hopefully two boys yeah <laughs> balance it out see. <laughs> we'll see yeah definitely. I would love to all right awesome here okay another one another one okay um, if you could change one thing about yourself what would it be and why? Honestly, I would not change anything. I'm really I happy. Change anything I'm really <laughs> happy. I'm not saying I'm perfect, <laughs> but you know, right. it, this you know, it took me long. Look where I am mm -hmm. for how many years I've been around. Right. So I don't think it's nothing wrong with it. No, there's <laughs> nothing wrong with you. You look <laughs> Thank fantastic. You. Thank <laughs> you. I know the Inside one. and out. Yes. Okay. <laughs> All right. Then. Let me see. All right. Um. If you could trade places with any celebrity, who would be and why? You know, I would like to be Angelina Jolie for a oh, day. Yes. Yes. <laughs> well, in an action movie. Yes. Please. <laughs> <laughs> so you would be Angelina Jolie in an action movie for yeah, a day? Yeah, in a movie. Mm -hmm. Yes, I would love to. Yes, I think you could totally do it. Yeah. <laughs> All right, couple more. Let's see. Okay. Um, do you have any tips on how to take the perfect selfie? Honestly, I think I am terrible taking oh, no. selfies. <laughs> I really try, I really try my best to have like the best angle. Yeah. But okay, um, what I try to look is my favorite angle. Usually I like my right side, so I tilt my head a little bit. Mm -hmm. And I like to hold like, the camera a little bit higher up okay because I like to show like the shape of my eyes mm -hmm. and for some reason when the camera is higher and I think you capture a little bit you get a more good of the shape of right. my eyes yeah that's a good tip a lot of people say good lighting too it's always and good lighting yes. but you know I have to say these days with so many filters right like it's almost like you don't have to worry so much <laughs> about the lighting. <laughs> that you know, is true. You can, you can do things. Get away with it. Yes, yeah, you can. Definitely. Yes, yes, yes. All yes. right. Okay. Let's see. Um, can you remember your biggest fashion mishap? Mishap is that mishap, yeah. Mishap. Your biggest fashion mistake. L oh, my God. I think I make it all the time. <laughs> um, you know, usually... I think when I'm my kids, every day I'm making fashion music oh, really? <laughs> because, you know, I wake up and I'm being a mom, you know, I am wake up at five in the morning, I, I'm i hands-on mom, so I'm like, mm -hmm. I'm going to make the breakfast, I'm going to get dirty, <laughs> I'm going to run around, I'm driving the kids to school. So. I just take it like the first thing that is in front of me. Right. You know, at five in the morning, it's like really I'm not gonna be really like worry about my hair and how the colors and the shapes of the clothes are sure. going for. Sure, you feel like I, sweatpants, I I'm sweatshirt. Sorry. Whatever is in front of <laughs> Whatever me, works. I take it. Yeah, uh, Sharice says, you are an inspiration to many. How has your perspective changed for the fashion industry since you started modeling? I believe now this, uh, the fashion industry have become better mm -hmm. in a way where fashion designers are really making an effort to design, for, especially for women, like a little more feminine and also like people, they wanted to see 
reality. They mm -hmm. want to see real things. Yeah. Uh, if it's in a campaign, if it's on uh, the commercial. So if something, it doesn't come from the heart and mm -hmm. is not real, a person is not going to relate to that. And they're not buying this. Mm -hmm. So everything has to come from the inside. Right. True, true, true for art. It has to happen. Definitely. How do you think the modeling industry has changed since you kind of started out? The same way. way. Yeah. The same way. I think that we are more interested into reality. Mm -hmm. You know, everything has uh, the people that's buying and they are there wants to see the real you. Yeah. That's what they want. Right. You know, and I think that makes it even more interesting. Definitely, because you yeah. get to know the person, you get to know their personality. Yes. And things like that. Yeah, definitely. NSL says, how do you handle mean or negative people? How I handle mean and negative people? I just smile yeah. right <laughs> back at them. Right. <laughs> smile and nod. You're like, look where I am. <laughs> yeah. That's it. <laughs> That's it. What is your one beauty tip that you would give anybody if you had to just give one beauty tip to everybody? Or a beauty one hack? beauty tip for everyone. You know, I, I think you have to accentuate your favorite mm -hmm. part of your body too. But, you know, there are days that you wake up and nothing works and beauty is all about how you feel. And there are things that you can do to make you feel like empowering, mm -hmm. sexy. And to me, the most important thing in accessory for a woman is a perfume, yeah. is a fragrance. And no matter what, I can be dressed up mm -hmm. in the most beautiful dress and in a waiting for a red carpet. If I have, I don't have my perfume on, I feel like something's missing. Yes. I don't feel me, right. you know? And I need to have that, mm -hmm. you know? And luckily we have one right here. Yes. yes. This beautiful so, little bottle right here. Tell me all about this new fragrance. This is the Victoria's Secret new, newest fragrance. Mm -hmm. It's called Intense. Uh, starting from the bottle, it's very classic. It's very feminine. And... The f it goes to the fragrance where it's very um, in unexpected, it's mm -hmm. very timeless, it's a warm scent. Uh, it's perfect for the fall yes. and for the winter mm -hmm. also that's coming up. Um, I'm obsessed with fragrance. I cannot live without it. And that's yes. the truth. I carry like the bottle with me in my bag throughout the day. Right. And for my work, it's so important also how I feel like if I go to red carpet, literally, I will spray perfume me before yeah. I walk. We always into want to the, smell good. No, I yeah. do, and it's so <laughs> funny. I had moments that I was like walking the red carpet, and there were like the photographers on the other side, and they would like scream to ask which of the which is the fragrance I'm using. I'm not joking. Really? Yes, <laughs> I love it. I love the fragrance. You know, it's something that it activates your senses. It's a symbol of femininity to me, mm -hmm. and uh, you really like. It brings you back memories and also creates new memories. Yeah. What does this one make you think of when you? You know, I'm about of creating new memories mm -hmm. with this one <laughs> right now. <laughs> uh, being intense memories. <laughs> well, good intense <laughs> memories. <Yes. laughs> <laughs> <laughs> I like it. It's super sexy, and like you said, it's good for fall as well. Yes. Yeah. Any well, time of day. Any time of day. Yes. Well, thank you so much for stopping by. It was so great talking to you, and thank you to all the fans who sent in their questions and giving us some beauty makeup tips, and of course, talking all about the Victoria's Secret new perfume. Thank you thank so much you. for having me. All right. Bye, guys. Bye. Bye.